Hey, it's quite glory, 7.53. I was going to just start my meditation, but uh, I do have a few things to share and express. Um, first of all, uh, my mom is already on her bed, and she's not going to join me uh, today to do meditation. Uh, I was not here last night at my grandparents' place. I slept there. So I think my mom didn't do meditation last night either. I do not want to have, <coughs> you know, a very high expectation um, because everyone starts small and we all have to go through multiple stages, right? When it comes to a habit development like myself. Uh, meditation is an uh, exception, but everything else um, for me to become consistent, I have tried and failed and restarted again many times, like journaling, running, you know, recording videos, all this stuff. I have been through many different stages, and that's. Uh, a very common thing so I don't have any frustration towards my mom although I have you know explained to her why it's important to make meditation or a daily routine just like sleeping and running you are going to get lots of benefits in the long term <coughs> but uh, again I don't hold a high expectation and that's better for both of us, okay. Um, and then uh, another thing is I tried to write more uh, about myself being a reader. I figured by sharing stories of myself could be more effective to share the purpose of reading for me. It's more engaging and interesting to people, whether, you know, reading or listening. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to share at the book club meeting my stories of being a reader. I probably will just um, share a little bit if there are people who wanted to share. I will give time. To others to talk more uh, but I will just um, finish writing the stories I think uh, I should definitely you know spend lots of time writing all these true stories so people can just you know read them in the future like um, it's really not an easy process for me to become a reader I have read some books today, but I did not record myself reading to the camera. Um, I might do it later after this video, since it's still early. Yeah, mm, I wish I actually wrote my digital journals on Notion before I leave home today. I mean, before I left this morning. I got a little bit of time, but I chose to just post my running on social medias instead of writing journals. This is another repeated lesson for me that if I can just spend a few minutes to set an intention and make some plans for today, I will have this mental advantage to have a really good day. Whether it's a restful day or productive day, doesn't matter. I need to take some time to reflect and set an intention so I can have more clarity, right? With my time, I can be more mindful. Yeah. But anyway, I've tried. I've tried to, 
you know setting the attention setting the intention even after I realized it's kind of late yeah as a matter of fact I did that at 10 30 um, I done some stuff for my mom at her office I also brought my grandparents because um, I thought um, I just wanted to bring my grandparents with me um, I might I mean I might have gone to Zhuzhou today but my mom caught me so yeah um, changed my plan we had lunch here at my parents home my mom cooked some fish it was pretty good and in the afternoon um, I actually should rest a little bit before I went to the gym um, because physically I was a little bit tired and sleepy this morning I ran 10 kilometers which was unplanned as well yeah but it's all right I don't need to be you know a hundred percent all the time you know what I mean I don't have to perform at the best capacity for everything I do and every day and that's too much for me I should just allow myself to do bad jobs okay as long as I get them done as long as I tried and that's something I should recognize yeah um, I also invited people to join the meditation practice on Sunday I almost thought of canceling it because um, I don't know man it's probably just fear because I haven't done anything I mean I have done it before I've led my mom to practice meditation in the past few days and I have explained to my friends so many times and I've also recorded myself doing meditation practice every day since last year so I should be comfortable on just organizing a meditation practice and I only invited people who I consider to be you know serious and um, what's a good word like they care about their their growth and life right they wanted to do better they wanted to improve themselves physically mentally and spiritually so that's why I believe they're going to enjoy it just like how I do it you know okay that's pretty much it I'm gonna read some books and then do my meditation afterwards Today is June 21st, 2024. I'll catch you up later.